I just want to show you, yeah, another side of Shadzian. So if we open up a default project, I've just got a new, uh, a new next application and we've got a Shadzian button here. Now I think a lot of people already know about the variants here. I can say variant is ghost, for example. And if I do that, my button goes to a nice little subtle button with no background and a nice little subtle background when I hover. Great choice, amazing. However, how many of you, and be honest here, how many of you are actually clicking into the code when you install Shadzian into your project? And how many of you are adding your own options here? Now again, it's all right if you're not, you know, Shadzian looks fantastic straight out of the box, you know, if it comes to the project, looks absolutely amazing. If we go a little, little light mode so you can see me. It looks fantastic, you know, and that's okay. However, you can do a lot more with Shadzian. You can also save a lot of your time and code, re, re, remaking, making reusable components. And so what do we really mean by that? Well, it's making use of this variant option. Now, say for example, we've got a, uh, I don't know, an application that has some sort of authentication, right? Classic. And we want a login button. Chances are we're gonna have that login button in a lot of different places. I think what a lot of you geezers are doing is you're coming here and say you've got your login button that you want in a certain way. Let's just use this red one, really simple. We'll say, okay, background red, 500. I think the text is already white, but let's just double reiterate that. Say text white, border none, something like that, rounded. I don't know what this is, rounded LG, fine. If we come to our project, rounded full. Amazing, right? We've got a weird hover. So we'll say hover background red 600. I'm gonna make it 400, go the other way. Yeah, trick them. It looks nice, you know, it looks fine. However, if you're doing it this way, you've got a lot of login buttons in your application. Chances are you're gonna be using this same code in a whole bunch of different places, right? You're gonna have this all the way throughout your app. Now what you can do guys, yeah, is make use, yeah, of that variant option here. So we're gonna say login is, and then we'll do this, get rid of the class name, and we'll say that. Cool, now if I come to here, go button, variant, login. And now we have that option, we have that button everywhere in our application and you know, because we've now got this as kind of, you know, more of a reusable component library, we're building our own component library on top of Shadzian, which is the way that God himself intended. Fantastic. <laughs> so, you know, well, okay, what if we want to change up our UI? You know, we're now going with a purple theme. We'll say purple. I mean, technically you should probably use the, you know, uh, text primary or background primary for this, but for, you know, for this intents and purposes. We'll say, okay, cool, we've got that now. Say we want all of our, uh, you know, tracking, track on, tracking tighter, you know, throughout all of our application, we can then do that. We'll say hit save, and then we should see that come through tighter. And look now, now all of our text is a little bit tighter, you know, and we'll say font bold, whatever. Just go, I'm just going crazy, guys. I'm going mental. I can't be controlled. So great, you know? Now we've got our own little login button. And that's going to save us a lot of time, you know? It's going to save us a lot of time, a lot of reusable compo uh, components now, a lot of reusable code, getting rid of a lot of, a lot of duplication, shall we say. Let's keep on going, guys. Let's keep on going. We're going to build another one, yeah? Let's build this one slightly slightly nicer slightly sexier you know it's got a little oh it's quite tasteful you know what's that uh 
American Psycho when he's handed over the card. Ooh, subtle off-white eggshell. Fantastic. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we'll come here. If we're making this our rounded full, and we'll just say, you know, we'll, re we'll reuse this one. We'll keep the font bold. Um, we're going to say background on this one is, it's like an off-white kind of colour. I don't know if we've got a, we don't really have a cream option, do we? What's, what's, what's stone 200 looking like? It's not looking like that. Stone 50. No. I want to go to my Tailwind colours. Oh, go to my Tailwind colours. I'm going to find one that looks kind of like that creamy kind of kind of look. Amber 50 is like ish, ish. Background amber 50. There we go. I think that's pretty close enough. In fact, yeah, I think that's fine. If we really, if we really wanted to do it, we could do a little hit it with one of them. Hit it with one of them. So we've got a like quite prominent shadow. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna drop a shadow LG. No, we don't want to drop shadow. Let's just say shadow LG. There we go. That's nice. We want a rounded again, rounded full. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's looking pretty nice. Uh, we've got then got kind of like a subtle purple color. It's very tasteful, a very tasteful button, guys. So we'll go text. I mean, that's looking like a purple to me. And we'll say, let's go 700 to begin with. It's a little bit more off, off color. Um, what else do we have going on here? Uh, so we kind of, let's do a little 500. Let's do a little 400. You get the point guys, you know? It's a bit more darker than that really. 800, I mean, yeah, we can, we can, you know, if you really wanted to do this, you could get the hex code, you know, have a look at it. I actually think that's, that's looking nice to be fair. That's looking really nice. And we could say, you know, it's got a di bit of a different font, but we could do font bold, again, make the tracking a bit tighter. You know, that's looking nice now. It's looking nice guys. We could say font black even to get even heavier. And hey, now I've got a nice little login button that we can reuse throughout our entire application. It's great, guys. And this doesn't end, right? This doesn't end with just, um, you know, because I'm really, I'm really, I'm, re I'm really, I'm going deep, guys. I'm going deep on this, yeah. So I'm going to do hover background number 50, hover shadow XL, hover text purple 800. There we go. Thank you, cursor. Look at that, guys. I mean, that doesn't look, it doesn't actually look very good. <laughs> the shadow is wilding out. The shadow doesn't look amazing. So let's get rid of the drop shadow on the hover. And let's make the text a little bit more, um, more obvious. So go like that. There we go. That's, that's quite nice and subtle there, right? Yeah, that is quite nice. I like that. So yeah, this doesn't end with just um, buttons, obviously. This is every single one of your components in your library. And you know, you see now we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're, what's the word? We are creating our own component library, you know? Not just sitting with the defaults from Shadzian. We're creating our own styling, you know? We've got our own sort of special flavor going on now. And it's, you know, that's great, guys. It's great. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you like this video, you know, be sure to give me a little, little one of them. Yeah, a little comment down below. Yeah, let me know what you think, guys. And yeah, I hope to see you soon.